Hey guys, it's Paul of Emerald Enclosures here to give you an informational video. Right here we have my new beta. It's starting to up. Uh, I noticed a couple of days ago that it started to have issues where it was stuck at the top of the water and it doesn't really seem to uh, sink. So upon a little bit of research, I found that the most likely candidate is it to have, um, what is it, swimming bladder disease? But from what I can tell, it's not an actual disease, it's more of a condition. Um, can't really tell that well by the lighting here, but the stomach of the beta is a little bit extended. And it was probably from me overfeeding it a little bit. It seemed like it was really hungry and it was on a fast for about two days. Fish don't really need to eat that much. And when you feed a fish, the best way to judge how much you feed them, by the way, is based on their eye size. The stomach of the fish is about the size of the eye itself. Now, I figured I'd take this opportunity to go over a fix for this. And you can see right there, the uh, green thing on the bottom of this uh, bowl. And if anyone's wondering, this bowl is temporary and keeping it in here so that it can uh, just wait out until my next project is done, in which case it's going to be going into my next paludarium type setup. But when it comes to swim bladder disease, what you need to do to start with is to let your fish fast. Its stomach is distended and it's pretty much in a state of constipation and especially when it is given food that has not had the opportunity to fully sink and absorb water, then it has a higher chance of the food having air pockets in it. And when the fish eats it, it gets stuck in the stomach. Now by fasting, you allow that food to, as much as it possibly can, work its way out of the system. But if not fixed by three to four days, it is suggested that you give them a little bit of a, a pee. But you can see that green thing on the bottom. The beta so far has eaten about half of it. When I offered some on the first day, it wasn't interested. By this point, it is quite hungry, I'm guessing. So it was willing to eat it. And if you can also see there on the right side, and I'm sorry again because of the bad lighting, that is a little bit of beta poop. So I believe it's already in uh, progress of recovering, but the pee should help the digestive system of the fish to move anything that's inside its system out. And they suggest to do the same thing with uh, goldfish. Typically, beta are in, like obligated carnivores. They want, they're not really interested in anything that's not meat, but this is a uh, fixed, well, it's uh, something to just help it recover from this situation. So, in terms of curing and preventing swim bladder disease, that is what I have heard so far. She does, well, not she, he. I mean, this is obvious that he, look at those flowing fins. But, he's a... Uh, I hope he's on the way to recover, and um, it, it looks that way just based on the fact that it pooped at least a little bit because that was not there before. I've been cleaning the bottom of this jar each day just to keep an eye on that. And it's been using this java moss here to stay underwater, otherwise it's kind of stuck at the top. And if anyone's also wondering, I have been water changing this about 50% every two days just to you know, keep the water quality up as high as it can be until this new paludarium is ready, which it should be ready by the end of the week. I am very much hope so. But anyway, I um, figured I'd take the opportunity as I have a fish right now with swim bladder disease 
to uh, kind of go over what you can do if your fish end up in the same situation. I hope this has been uh, helpful for anyone who has sick fish like this or again it's not really a sickness it's a condition but I'm sure it could possibly lead to actual sickness if the food state and the feces stay in the system too long. I just hope he continues to um, pass his food and then he will be on his way to recovery. So anyway, this has been Paul of Emerald Enclosures. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and I will be uh, attempting to make another video again next Sunday. You guys have a great day now. Bye.